The Kansas City Chiefs are one of the best teams in the NFL. With three Super Bowls in the last five years and superstars in Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and Taylor Swift, life has been good for Chiefs fans. But there are challenges. With the team getting older and quickly more expensive, the Chiefs dynasty is not a foregone conclusion. And that's where we begin. Our goal is to win another Super Bowl for Kansas City. And if I don't complete that, along with the rest of the goals on screen, one of you guys will be winning a brand new jersey. Let's begin. All right, here we go. We're going to take over as the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, this team, pretty fucking loaded. This might be a quick one, but at the end of the day, this team is really old. Not really old, but they're getting older. They're getting expensive. We got to find some pieces that are young. Xavier Worthy was a good start. We're going to take over as Andy Reid. Here we go, boys. I mean, our goal is pretty simple, man. We want to win the Super Bowl. That's our goal. I mean, this team is pretty fucking loaded, right? I mean, Joe Thune, Creed Humphrey. Jesus Christ. Rice, Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, Isaiah Pacheco, receivers and Racy Rice and Marquise Brown. We also have McCole Harden and Xavier Worthy back here. His team is disgusting. We also have left tackle Kingsley Sue Matea. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I might have butchered that, but he's a hidden dev left tackle. He's just going to continue to get better. I mean, our worst offensive lineman theoretically is Jawan Taylor, who's a right tackle star dev. Samaji P. Ryan is here, bro. He's literally, I mean, bro. What the hell? I mean, in terms of players, we're not going to make a change on offense. I mean, this offense is loaded. And then defensively, I mean, we're loaded. Our worst position is free safety and maybe Jalen Watson at cornerback too. But our front seven is all star dev or better with Chris Jones being a superstar. We have a hidden dev safety in Hicks here. We're loaded. Defensively, got a lot of young guys. Hopefully this defense continue to, can continue to get better. All right, so we've actually made a couple of changes. Um, we actually traded for a new punter. I know that seems weird, but I didn't... I mean, listen, we have Matt Ariza. He's only a 69 in this game, which is ironic. Um, So, we, yeah, we decided to get rid of him. Traded for AJ Cole from the Raiders. And you're probably like, why would you do that, right? Okay, so we also had some cap space I wanted to free up. We get rid of Justin Watson. We have Xavier Worthy here. We still have Sky Moore. And what we do is we also get, we get the roster spot to go sign Micah Hyde. It was only a $3 million deal, too, so we love that. Our defense gets better. Our team is so ready to go, it's unbelievable. We're also going to have... Um, Xavier Worthy returning kicks and McCall Harbin running returning punts. So this will be a fun season. All right, so here we go. We're going to sim to midseason. Let's see how the season starts. All right, here we go, boys. Let's see how we do. Let's see, we're looking at the midseason mark. All right, Creed Humphrey. Let's see. If we can get him at this deal three years, that'd be huge. Awesome. We re-signed Creed Humphrey. Love to see that. Trey Smith's the next one. We got to shore up this offensive line. It is expensive to have a great team. I'll tell you that much. Nick Bolton, the next guy we got to go after. Okay. We re-signed three guys. We only have about $4 million left in cap. Justin Reed. Ooh. We want Justin Reed, Marquise Brown. After that, I'm not... Like, we have to let Hardman and, and Charles Ominihu and Derek Nadi and Samaj P. Ryan walk. Juju can kick rocks. Side our dealer is gone. I mean, like, if... A lot of these guys I don't necessarily care about, but we absolutely have to bring back Justin Reed and Marquise Brown. All right, let's take a look and see if we can restructure some contracts right now. Malik Herring I could cut. I'd also cut Cam Jones, Nazi Johnson, and Mike Caliendo. There's a lot of guys I could cut right now. Okay. But honestly, I kind of want these guys develop. Let's see. Charles Amenahu is probably going to become a cap casualty. If we can trade him for like a third round pick, that would be huge. All right, so we have Justin Reed's contract. Gonna try to lowball him. Marquise Brown, okay, let's take a look at this. If we can lowball him, that'd be sick. Nope, they don't like that. Micah Hyde, I mean, fuck it. Let's see if we can get him back on a nice one-year deal. Oh my God, he took it. Okay, awesome. Got some upgrades. Let's see who we got. Kingsley Suomatea, we love to see that. He's upgraded. He's still not, we haven't seen his dev trait yet, but we're gonna put Agile in him. We want run back, run block, and pass block to be upgraded. Well, pass block finesse, but run block did get upgraded, so let's see if it does it again. Impact block and pass block finesse. Okay, not the best upgrades. I might not do that the next time, but I'm going to let the auto upgrade go for the rest of these guys. Chris Jones getting an upgrade is crazy. Let's take a look at the schedule so far. We're 3-3, three and three, not playing the best football, but not playing the worst either. All right, let's take a look at the standings. The Ravens are 6-1 and one in the AFC. So are the Bengals. Titans are 5-1. and one. We are 3-3. Three and three. We're not playing bad. Let's take a look at these games. We actually started the season off with a loss to the Ravens and the Bengals. Offense played fine in those games. It's the defense that's been the issue. Beat the Falcons and the Chargers. Lost to the Saints. Beat the Niners. Uh, I mean, haven't played a division opponent. Oh, we, no, we did. We beat the Chargers, so we're 1-0 against division rivals. That's awesome. We have a nice schedule to end this season. I think we should be fine. Let's take a look at the stats so far this season. Let's see how Mahomes is doing. 15th in passing yards, 1,600 yards through six games. Eight interceptions through six games is actually kind of not what I expected. 16 touchdowns. Do you like to see that? Pacheco's running the ball okay. 
Mahomes, Rishi Rice leading the team in passing yards and touchdowns. Okay. We are fourth in defense as well, so we're playing good defense. Offense just has to hum just a little better. All right. So we're going to give Justin Reed, see if we can hit with this three-year deal. He doesn't want to commit to the three-year deal. That's crazy. Marquise Brown going to try to give him a three-year deal. Excellent. Micah Hyde will give him the regular deal one year. That's awesome. So he's going to come back. Got some upgrades here to our backup guys. Going to give Jaden Hicks an upgrade to run support. If he could develop, that'd be huge because we're going to be in cap hell soon. There's already a 72 hidden dev overall. Already 72 overall hidden dev. Just got to keep developing our guys. Justin Reed, we're going to try to give him a player-friendly offer. If he doesn't take this, we're going to be fucked. Okay, he's back. Thank God. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to resign a lot of these guys. Michael Hardman is going to leave. Charles Omanehu is gone. Derek Nadi, Samaji Pirine, Juju, Clyde Edwards Alaire, Noah Gray. Nazi Johnson, Tereshawn Wharton. We're going to be able to accept the fifth-year options on Carl Aftis and McDuffie, but after that, it's going to be brutal. We're going to have to draft super well. Speaking of Trent McDuffie, he has an upgrade. He is up to a 91 overall. That is so crazy. Justin Reed going to upgrade his run support. He's up to an 84. We really got to start winning some games. We're kind of struggling to start this season. And then finally, Carl Aftis going to upgrade him in Power Rusher. 82 overall. He's going to get a pick check, and damn, we are running out of money quickly. We're 3-5. and five. We're going to advance to the postseason. If we don't make the playoffs, this is going to be a brutal year for the Chiefs. We finished this season a 11 and 6. We started the season, I think, 3 and 5 or 3 and 4. We finished as the 60 ticket on the Raiders. Wow, okay. So let's take a look at the season here. NFL standings went 11 and 6. Raiders went 14 and 3. Wow, Cowboys. Oh, excuse me. This is Raiders went 14 and 3. Jaguars 13 and 4. The Raiders go 12 and 5. And the Bengals. Damn, we just snuck it. Wow, two 10 and 7 and two 9 and 8 teams didn't make the playoffs. That's crazy. How bad was the NFC? Oh, the NFC was. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. 8-9. Damn. A whole lot of mid in the NFC. Let's take a look at our schedule. See how we did down the stretch. Yeah, we had beat the 49ers and then lost the Raiders and the Buccaneers when I had last slammed in. We went on a tear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games in a row and then losing to the Broncos. Losing to the Broncos, that one stings, but our offense played well. This game against the Buccaneers kind of concerning, only 17 points, but our offense figured it out down the stretch. Holy shit. So after our first season, we're 4-2 and two against our division rivals. Our only losses were at Denver and then at the Raiders by 6-2. and two. Yeah, let's take a Look at the playoff picture one more time. We are taking on the Raiders in Las Vegas. This is not going to be an easy game. Taking a look at the stats and awards. Let's see if Mahomes did anything. Fifth in MVP, or excuse me, fifth in passing yards. Seventh in total offense. Let's take a look at the awards here. Mahomes wins MVP. So our goal was to have an MVP. We finished that goal in year one. We love to see that. We also had a goal to be have a top five offense. We also had a goal to have a top five offense. That's done as well. We didn't win the division this year, which is kind of concerning. So even if we do win a Super Bowl this year, it doesn't matter because when are you guys going to get a jersey? Because we didn't win the division. Take a look at the stats. Mahomes. 4,300 yards, 47 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. He was 16-8 and eight when I last looked, which means he went, what, 31-5 and five over the back half of that season. Love it. Running-wise, Pacheco with 1,000 yards with six touchdowns. Mahomes had six touchdowns as well with almost 400 yards. Receiving-wise, Rishi Rice, 1,100 yards and four touchdowns. My goodness. This offense was crazy. Defensively, let's take a look at this. 118 tackles for Drew Tranquil. 115 for Nick Bolton. Chris Jones up the team in sacks with nine. Three different guys in Drew Tranquil, George Carlaftis, and Mike Dana each had three and a half. Bolton, Cameron Thomas, Derek Nottie, Jamari Connor, and Brian Cook had a couple. How many picks did we have? Justin Reed and Trent McDuffie each had three. Brought in Micah Hyde. He had two. We love that. Only forced one fumble all season by Drew Tranquil. Kingsley Sumatea has five upgrade points. Holy shit. He's going to be almost an eight overall. We're just going to keep upgrading his power. This is going to be all run block, pass block. We love to see this. Yeah, four upgrade on a pass block. That's crazy. He's a star dev at left tackle. That's incredible. Gonna let the CPU handle all the rest of those. Taking on the Raiders on the road. If we can take them down, that would be incredible. We were up 21-0. The Raiders ripped off four straight touchdowns, and now we're down. We gotta get a score here, or else our season's over. I did not want to do that. There we go. Hit Xavier Worthy. I like these rub routes coming across the middle. Damn, my eye is fucking tweaking out right now. I had him. I had Travis Kelsey, but we're going to give a cool hard bit of touchdown and instead. I saw it too late. No timeouts left. We have to go the length of the field in 50 seconds and score or else we lose. I got a loft that I have him. Oh, I know where to go. I need time. No, I need time. Come on, spike the ball, Mahomes. Oh, shit. It all comes down to this. I have to probably get out of bounds too. Why can't I call any fucking audibles? Get out of bounds. Oh, I might have been able to cut a field. Holy shit. I'm going to try the same thing. Dude, I, I sent him out of corner. Why did he do that route? Get out of there, Kelsey! Don't get caught, you... 
Oh, bastard! I cannot believe we just lost that game like that. We were up 21 0. I was scored as 35 7 in that game. Holy shit. We got our contract extension, man, but I don't even know. Oh my god, I can't believe we lost that game. I actually can't believe we just lost that game. The Raiders went and lost to the Jaguars. It's the Niners versus the Ravens. Dude, I can't even. I'm distraught that we lost that game. Mahomes is a literal 99. What the fuck does he have to upgrade? The old general? Fuck it, might as well. Their accuracy deep in mid? We like that. Shit, fuck it. Oh my god, I can't believe we lost that game, man. That is so fucking brutal. Wow, the Ravens stomped on the 49ers. Patrick Mahomes MVP. We knew that. Lamar wins Super Bowl MVP. Okay. We have any retirements? Half of the Texans retired. That's cool. What about the Chiefs? Anybody on our team? Mike Pennell retires after 12 years, so that's sad to see you go, big dog. We do have 220 staff points. Gonna use all that right now. Also gonna give Justin Ross an upgrade to Playmaker. We signed him off our practice squad. I don't think we're gonna be able to re-sign McCall Hardman, so he might actually have a role this season. Trent McDuffie, we're gonna accept his option, as well as George Karlaftis. Those guys are huge. We're gonna have them under contract for one more season. We'd love to see that. But unfortunately, we're gonna let everybody else walk. We're gonna lose a lot of guys. McCall Hardman. Charles Manehu, Derek Nadi, Samaj P. Ryan, Juju Smith Schuster, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Noah Gray, Naziz Johnson, Tereshawn Wharton, some other guys, but those are guys we're gonna lose. That's gonna be a big loss for us. We're over the caps this season due to the restructuring we did, so we're not gonna even look in free agency. We're gonna lose a lot of guys, but we're gonna have to draft well. It's gonna be huge. We have the 23rd pick in the draft. Let's see who we get there. At pick 23, the only guy that really people are looking at is Joshua Boo. I don't want to draft a quarterback. We have Mahomes. Do I just go right guard here and hope that we can develop another offensive lineman? Or do I go running back in Taj Tarpley? I kind of think I go Taj Tarpley here. I know it's a bit of a reach. We don't really need a running back. Pacheco gets expensive. Let's see how we do. How do, do they like this pick? Not really. Normal, oh, normal dev in the first round. Fucking nasty work. Uh-oh, I should have just traded this first round pick. All right, here we go. Honestly, I think I'm going to go free safety. We don't really have much depth in the secondary as it is. I'm gonna go JD Watson out of Alabama. Drafted him, he's probably, oh, he's a hidden dev in the second round, okay. The suit is kind of fucking ugly, brother, but I'm glad we got him. We have a third round pick here. Let's take a look at this. Can I look at my draft board already? Honestly, I we have another third round pick after this. I think I'm going to trade away this third round pick. Third and a seventh, third and a fifth. Third, fifth, and a seventh from San Francisco. Eagles or the Dolphins. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. A future third, a fifth in this draft, and a future seventh. We're going to take that. We have the next pick anyways, so fuck it. And honestly, there's really not anybody here that I like anyways, so I'm probably going to trade this third round pick as well. Just try to get some additional draft capital. A third and a fifth from the Vikings. I kind of like a third and a fifth from the Raiders. A third and a fourth from the Lions. A third and a fourth and a seventh in this draft from Miami. We're taking this one from Miami. Wow. We're making a lot of trades with Miami. I don't even care if we're making them better. I am going to take Bobby Parrish here in the fourth round, though. He's around two, three talent. He's a cornerback. Again, I want more secondary help. I think this guy could help us right now. Normal Dev in the fourth. Yeah, I kind of expect 87 speed, 91 excel. Not a bad corner. We're in the fifth round here. I think I'm going to go Jonathan Norwood here. We want to go after a third, fourth round talent, or I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go Tyrell Schaefer. He's a deep threat. We just lost Nicole Hardman and Juju Smith-Schuster. Hopefully he is good. A hidden dev in the fifth round. We love to see that. And honestly, we're going to go Jonathan Norwood here. You know, I don't know if he's going to be any good, but we, I would, I might've taken him in that last pick. So fuck it. Might as well take him here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Don't have a pick in the sixth round. We're gonna go all the way to the seventh round. Let's see what we got. And honestly, I don't like anybody here. I think I'm just gonna trade this pick. Sixth round pick from Chicago. Anything else? Or the Bills? I kind of like the Bills here. Let's take some of their picks. And honestly, we have the back-to-back -back picks again. I'm gonna trade this one as well. If I can get a sixth round pick for this one as well, that'd be huge. Seventh, six from Houston, Minnesota, Seattle, Rams. I think I'm gonna take the Rams pick. I don't know how good they usually do in these Sims. So fuck it, we'll take their pick. Only got a couple guys in this draft. We did trade a lot of picks away for future picks, but but why waste an asset? Set season goal. Our season goal, again, win the Super Bowl. We got nothing else to do but do this. Guys had an impressive preseason. Tyrell Schaefer and Jonathan Norwood. We drafted both these guys. Two upgrade points. Tyrell Schaefer already a 70 overall. Gonna be a 71 after this. This is a huge. We love this receiver. Already almost unlocked his dev trait. That'd be huge if we could do that. And then Jonathan Norwood. I know he's just normal dev, but doesn't matter. We need him to upgrade because he's he could be a piece for us. And Rishi Rice has... a. He is a superstar now, so we can we can upgrade his stuff. This is going to be huge. All right, after this offseason, let's take a look at the roster. Going to look a little different. Going to look significantly different, but damn it, it looks good. Okay, Sumate at left tackle. He is developed into a star. He's almost an 80 overall already. He's only in his second season. Huge there. The rest of our offensive line is a bunch of studs. At right tackle, Jawan Taylor dropped to a normal dev. He's probably someone we look to replace eventually, but for now, we're going to be okay. Kelsey's still a stud. Carson Steele has developed into a 75 overall fullback. We love that. Pacheco is almost a 90 overall. Rishi Rice is a superstar. Xavier Worthy has developed into an 80, excuse me, into a 78 overall star. 
We also have Sky Moore wide receiver four. We lose McCall Hardman and Juju, but we draft Schaefer and Justin Ross. We signed from the practice squad. So our offense is going to be honestly just as good, if not better. Defensively, this is where the question marks are. Micah Hyde, we got to find someone to replace you because you are old as fuck and you stink now. I want to try to find a free safety right now. Right now, we are $23 million over the cap. We could try to restructure some contract space. I think this would be huge if we could restructure contracts, get us some space right now. We did that with Mahomes. Going to try to do it with Creed Humphrey. Trent McDuffie's contract, that would be huge if we could do that there as well. Trey Smith's contract is big. If we could restructure his, yes. And Nick Bolton. And finally, Marquise Brown. Okay, so we restructured a bunch of contracts. We have $2 million in cap space. Here we go. Going to try to go to the Trade Center, make some shit happen at free safety, because we need a new free safety team needs quarterback why does it say we need a quarterback we have fucking Patrick Mahomes what is this game on about if we could get Geno Stone from the Bengals we'd have to shave off a decent amount of money who could we trade it would probably have to be Mike Dana or Drew Tranquil honestly I feel more comfortable with Drew Tranquil going how is that not enough what the fuck and we'll add Micah Hyde to that we need to add another player I think this is gonna be enough to get it done if not we have a lot of draft capital gonna add Montreal Washington to this as well I don't know if this gets it done but we're gonna throw it there okay so they're gonna want some picks no shit, Sherlock. Let's see what we got. Can we throw him a fourth this year? Would that be enough? Can we throw him a third this year? That might get it done. I think we're close. A third and a... F I don't want to throw him a future third. A seventh this year and a sixth. Does that get it done? We're close. Let's get rid of the seventh. Let's go double sixes. Does two sixes get it done? Does switching a sixth with a fifth get it done? Yeah, we'll go fifth. We don't want to give a fourth. Okay, if we get rid of the sixth and go third and fourth, no fifth. We're close. Maybe the fifth. We'll get rid of a fifth in a couple of years. Let's go. We get Geno Stone from the Bengals. He's going to be a huge upgrade to our secondary. 27 years old star dev. We do need a new right outside linebacker now because we are, we've gutted this position officially. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable starting Cam Jones there. Sorry, pal. Got to get a right outside linebacker. Our offense is looking great. Our defense gonna have to upgrade some guys there but other than that i think we should be a good in a good spot Jalen watson i like so continue to develop he's only 26 yeah might get a new d tackle but other than that we're in a good spot let's try to get a new left or excuse me right outside linebacker we might have to trade mike dana if we want to get tj edwards or do i go Jawan taylor Jawan taylor's making 24 million dollars holy shit get this fucking fraud off my team bro oh my god God, you bum. You know, shit, they're gonna need more compensation. Holy fuck, John Taylor's making 56 zillion dollars. Now that I don't know, I have the cap space. Go sign some people. Matt Milano. Ooh, do I get Jeremiah or ooh. Anybody else? It was him and Collins. It's kind of fun. Frankie Louvu. Damn, I wish you were like 26, Frankie Louvu. Bradley Chubb, old ass. Damn. Gosh, sweat. Why are there no good young linebackers? Trey Green lost 28, bro. Ryan Burns, but I'm not getting Brian Burns, say that much. Boy, he's had a Louis Conn's 30. I don't mind Quincy Williams. Oh, he's 29. Quay Walker? Ooh. Honestly, call me crazy. A second round pick for Quay Walker. Is that is that nasty work? Is that a, is a second, a third? Is a second, two thirds nasty for Quay Walker? We're close. We got it. Got him. We got his ass. Quay Walker, right outside linebacker. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna have to... I don't know what we're gonna do at right tackle, but let's see. Yeah, we gotta find a right tackle. I don't really know how I feel about fucking Lucas Niang. We gotta find a right tackle now, which is fun. But we have, we're starting to really fill out our team. Dan is here. A new defensive tackle would be cool. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's go with a right tackle now. That's what we're focusing on, right tackle. We have $11 million in cap space too, so we don't really have to worry about, I can really cash in some of these uh, draft picks that I've been trading for. Oh my God, I'm going after Marius Mims. 22 star. We're just gonna trade Niang to have the body gone. Honestly, bro, a second next year? Oh, they want a lot. Okay, can I give up a first? Does a first get it done? Oh, they're not even close. Okay, I might have to give up a first in a second and a sixth and a sixth and a seventh wow i might have to give up multiple firsts for mary's mims fuck it we're doing it we're doing it we're going for we're going multiple firsts for mary's mims we're going all in that's not enough you sick fucks second and a third next year oh my god you sick bastards two firsts and two seconds for mary's mims we just made a stupid ass trade but he's gonna be the left tackle here for the next 15 years or as long as he doesn't i mean he's 22 years old he's gonna be here for legitimately the rest of his career so i mean this this offensive line is ridiculous ridiculous okay this is the most la rams all-in shit i've ever done great here i'm fine with Jalen watson being cornerback too he's only 26 he's gonna continue to develop however i do have one more change for this team i want to make i want to get a new defensive tackle i like chris jones chris jones is fine chris jones is not going nowhere but nesta jade silvera only a 67 overall we need we run a 4-3 so we absolutely have to have another defensive tackle down there we lost that in the offseason i'm fine with mike dana being here he's only 27 he's in 79 overall fine we might have to address that position in the draft, which we're losing pieces rapidly. But honestly, I think, like I said, I think we're a defensive tackle two away from being completely un- beatable. Aleem Mc, Nick McNeil. We don't actually have to trade pieces. I'm going to go Nesta, Nesta Jade Silvera. And then at this point, it's just draft picks. He's 25 euros old. Could I get him for a 
third. If not, we're gonna go to the fourth. Oh my God, we might have to just go with the first and be done with it. Can I go with two thirds and a fourth? Honestly, I think I can, if I use this year's first, I think I got him. Got him. Okay, our team is complete. We have gutted, and I mean gutted, our draft capital going forward. We have a pretty fucking unbeatable team right now. We have no holes. Resigning everybody, that's gonna be the problem. We'll worry about that when we get there though. Offensively, loaded. Defensively, fucking reloaded. Holy shit. Special teams still have Cole and Butker bringing Parrish and Tarpley to kick and punt return. Wow. That's, I just want to take a look at our practice squad. With that, boys, we know our team. We're going to advance to midseason and see how we do. We are 7-0 at the midway point. Holy shit. Okay, before we do that, let's take a look at we have cap space too. Oh, we're gonna need it, bro. Pacheco. We're gonna try to low ball Pacheco just because I'm a scumbag. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have been a scumbag. Leo Chanel. If we can get him back, he wants a big deal, but he's a young kid. Okay, so Quay Walker, Geno Stone, Travis Kelsey, Joe Thune. Wow, we got a lot of guys. And, okay, and AJ Cole. We have a lot of guys to try to resign. Okay, we're gonna have to do some calf gaziness. One, two, three, four, five. So guys like Jalen Watson, gone. Brian Cook, probably gone. Sky Moore, probably gone. Joshua Williams, Cam Thomas. We did sign someone. Who did we sign? Why did it say we signed someone? Who, who did we sign? We signed Javion Cohen. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the standings. Obviously, we're 7-0. Let's take a look at our schedule. How have we played this season? Obviously, great, but... Haven't had our bye yet. This game against the Broncos to me is super impressive. We won a game against our rivals at home, albeit, but only scoring 17 points is really tough to win a game. I'm really proud of our guys for that. Yeah, wow, we've played, we have three more road games in a row and then we play four out of our next seven at home. Let's take a look at the player stats at the midway points. I wonder if it's Mahomes. I wonder if, if it's maybe Pacheco on the ground game. Second in passing yards, third in offensive yards. We're really slinging 19 touchdowns to one interception through seven games. Holy shit, 2,000 yards already. Pacheco with 400 yards and three touchdowns. Mahomes has 120 yards, but he has five touchdowns receiving wise. Rishi Rice has 800 yards in 10 touchdowns in seven games. Holy shit. Chris Jones has nine sacks through seven games. Holy fuck. All right, we're gonna have to do some cat fugazi shit to get some some space. Here we go. So we did some cat fugaziness. We restructured and cut a bunch of fucks. Quay Walker, we're gonna try to be a scumbag to you. Okay, not a good idea. Gino Stone, can we scumbag you? Nope. All right, this is not as easy as I thought. Travis Kelsey, please, 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 please. Just take a one-year deal. You stupid bastard. Joe Thune, he only wants a one-year deal. Can I get him on a nice discount? Okay, AJ Cole, we're gonna have to re-sign you. Three-year doll, three-year deal. Only Our special team stuff is taken care of for the entire video. We like to see that. Kingsley Suomatea. Wow, we got a lot of guys with two upgrade points at the midway point. We're going to start with Kingsley Suomatea. He is an 81 overall already in his second season. He has developed into an absolute stud left tackle. Also going to upgrade Tyrell Schaefer. He's a guy we drafted. He has developed really nicely so far. He's already a 74 overall playmaker. Oh my God. A 75 overall in just his rookie season. He has developed nicely. Didn't think we need another receiver, but damn, Hidden Dev. He hasn't played at all this season, but his development has been incredible. JD Watson, a free safety we drafted. He's developed nicely. He's already up to a 73 overall. If we don't, if we're not able to re-sign Geno Stone, he's probably the guy that takes over. Bobby Parrish, a corner we drafted he's developing pretty well he's already up to a 68 overall might not seem like much but we're gonna lose a lot of guys in the secondary this offseason so at the end of the day it's gonna be him it's gonna be guys we draft if we draft other guys but he's got a nice head start gonna auto upgrade the rest of these guys got a lot of good players this game against the Bengals is actually huge but we're gonna sim this game obviously gotta re-sign some more guys so we'll get to next week all right back to Pacheco see if we can hit him with this nice offer please resign okay so we bring back Isaiah Pacheco way Walker all right we'll give him a nice neutral offer Gino Stone we kind of threw you a low ball offer let's get you a neutral offer take this one buddy awesome we bring back Geno Stone Travis Kelsey come on take this nice take this nice two-year deal and get the hell out of here and finally Joe Thune just up his deal just a little bit we bring back Joe Thune we brought back all the guys we needed we're not gonna have much we're gonna have to do the same thing next year if we don't win and just keep renegotiating contracts but all right eight no let's, let's finish the season boys all right at the midway point we are eight and oh we're really loaded on offense defensively we, we did some cat magic to fucking resign everybody but we're still gonna lose a decent amount of guys in Jalen Watson, Brian Cook, Sky Moore, Joshua Williams, Cameron Thomas. Um, we're gonna accept the option on Felix and Duque Uzama. We're gonna accept the option for Felix and I don't know how to pronounce his last name, and Duque Uzama. Um, Drew Locke, JV and Cohen gonna be gone. We don't have any cap space going forward so we're pretty much locked into the team we have. We gotta hope we can win this year. Um, gonna advance to the playoffs hopefully you know, we're what, like 12 and five, 13 and four, and we can have a one seed. Okay, let's take a look at the playoff record. We go 15 and two, so we are the one seed. End the season, 15 and two. Okay, we'd like to see this. We're gonna get a bye, awesome. Let's take a look at the schedule, see how we played down the stretch. We started off eight and oh, and we finally threw a loss, our first loss against the Raiders. Yeah, only scoring 14 points against the Raiders, kind of an interesting game. 
Losing a 33-36 game against the Texans, that's kind of tough, too. But we had a great season. Again, we scored pretty much at will. I love this game against the Broncos. And, uh, okay. And with that, we've actually completed another goal. We won the division, so that's huge. So we know that we got that taken care of. Let's take a look at the stats and awards. I imagine Mahomes, yeah, wow. First in offense... First in passing offense, almost 5,000 passing yards. 47 touchdowns to six kicks. Pacheco had 1,000 yards on the ground with 11 touchdowns. Rishi Rice, 1,400 yards and 22 touchdowns. Holy shit. Oh, my God goodness. How, he, but he, there's no way he's not a superstar X-Factor. Oh, he's definitely a superstar. Holy shit. I did not expect him to have that great of a year. What the hell? Yearly awards, I can't imagine. Yeah, Mahomes wins MVP. We win coach of the year. Offensive player of the year was yeah, him and Rishi Rice were one, two. Best QBs, Mahomes. Best receiver should be Rishi Rice. Best running back, Pacheco was second. O-line, Joe Thune. D-line, Chris Jones. Wow, we cleaned house. Holy shit, 15-2. and two. There's no reason we don't win this. Taking a look at the player upgrades, Bobby Parrish, the cornerback we drafted, gonna be up to a 71 in just his first season. I think we got him in like the fourth round, so that's a great get for us. I'm gonna, we're gonna auto-do the rest of these guys. Racy Wright's up to an 88 overall. Damn, our team is absolutely loaded. All right, let's advance to the divisional. Let's see who we're gonna be taking on in the divisional round of the playoffs. The Jaguars, okay, let's, let's take a look at their game. The Jaguars upset the Colts, okay. Wow, we actually had a couple of upsets as the Bengals take down the Dolphins. Ravens sneak by the Raiders, okay. We're gonna be taking on the Jaguars. This is not gonna be an easy game, folks. Let's hop into it, though. We are gonna upgrade Brian Cook. This is another guy we drafted, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, and he's developed really well. I was mistaken, we definitely didn't draft him. And then Jared Wiley, we upgraded him. He's our backup tight end. Travis Kelsey's not gonna be here forever, so we gotta have someone replace him. Taking on the Jaguars, this is going to be a very tough game. Gotta take on three superstar X-Factors and Trevor Lawrence. Let's lock in, boys. We take you to the fourth quarter. The Jaguars have stayed in the game. We're in the red zone, we gotta get some points here. Excellent, there we go. Perfect ball across the middle to Xavier Worthy. Mahomes has had two picks this game. Jaguars defense are pinning their ears back. Here we go, boys, gotta get another one. Across the middle. Oh, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. No, Xavier Worthy, put your head down. All right, Pacheco, take us home, big dog. That's what you're here for. Gonna try to take a lead here late in the fourth quarter. Oh my God, nope, dude, that was bad. That was terrible. All right, I'm looking across the middle. Pacheco might be open, but I think Kelsey's gonna be... Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, no, my God. We're gonna have to take three here. Holy shit, they brought a... They got right in there. At least we take a three-point lead. It's up to the defense now. Defense could not hold them... We got to score a touchdown in under two minutes. We have all three timeouts. This is going to be a fun fourth quarter drive. Inside. Oh my God, I'm getting hit. I'm getting pressured. They're only rushing four, but we our offensive line is getting annihilated right now. This is shocking. I was not ready for this. Get a field, Travis Kelsey. Get a field, Travis Kelsey. Third and five. Okay, we got to keep moving. Hit him with a play action. I think Hollywood Brown across the middle is going to be my guy. Dude, oh my god, what the fuck? This is not good. Fourth and 11. This is pretty much the season. Get there. Get there, Travis Kelsey. Holy shit. I had to step up in the pocket, but damn, that was tough. All right, here we go. Got a fresh set of downs. We got a chance now. I'm gonna put you... Oh, no. I, yeah, fuck it. I like that route, actually. Dude, I have no time. I have no time to let routes develop. That's actually crazy. This this four-man rush by the Jaguars is everywhere. Here we go. We're gonna look outside. Oh, wow. Dude, what the fuck? No! Mahomes is done! I gotta win this game with fucking Drew Locke. Oh, my God. Drew Locke! Oh, my God! Oh, I didn't mean to call timeout. Shit, I thought I had three. Dude. Oh, my God. I gotta win this game with fucking Drew Locke. Here we go, boys. Drew Lock! Drew Lock! Let's go! We're down to the two! Oh my god, Drew Lock, a hero. Got it. Got it! Kelsey! Oh my god, please, defense. I don't know how we. I think we got a pick six or something. Oh my god, we got a pick six or a fumble six or something. We take down the Jaguars, but Drew Locke is going to be the starting quarterback for the foreseeable future. Oh my God, let's take a look at this game. Three for three, 53 yards and a touchdown. Great job by Drew Locke. Mahomes didn't actually have that good of a game. Passing wise, we're fine. Running, but wow, we didn't do anything on the ground. Receiving wise, Kelsey 10 for 140 and two touchdowns. My goodness. Xavier Worthy went 109 yards. Marquise Brown 67 and a touchdown. We might have to win the Super Bowl with Drew Locke. Oh my God, this is not what I expected. Tyrell Schaefer gets an upgrade that's huge. Just gonna continue to upgrade his playmaker. He's almost an 80 overall. He's a stud and he still hasn't really gotten out of the field. This is awesome. And then Carson Steele, this is a guy that can help replace Isaiah Pacheco if we can't afford him ever. And he's a nice fullback. How long is Mahomes out for? Four, he's done for the season. If we win this Super Bowl, it's gonna have to be with Drew Locke. Oh my God, dude. 
Oh my god, four weeks. Mahomes, tape it up! Oh my god, we have to take on the Bengals. Bengals upset the Dolphins and then the Ravens. Oh my god, dude. Mahomes broke his thumb. Just tape it to your fucking fingers. Here we go. Drew Locke. Oh my god. I can't believe Drew Locke is gonna have to win this game for us. Gonna switch things up, go with the color rush uniforms. Might as well change it up. Damn, bro. Drew Locke. Oh my god. Defense, we're gonna need... Yeah, this isn't gonna be good. I don't want to hop in because I'll win this game. Like objectively, I will. We just, I, our defense has to keep us in it. If they can keep us in it, I'll hop in. But if they can't, I'm not doing anything. Damn, our defense, please just. There we go. Oh my god, defense! A 58-yard field goal. Oh, bro, I should not have hopped in. <sighs> Dude, I didn't. Here we go. Drew Lock and the Kansas City Chiefs are a field goal away from tying the game. Here we go. I cannot believe Drew K Mahomes got hurt. That's. Crazy. That's no, no, no. Why would you come back to the ball like that? What are we doing? Okay, third and one. Just need a yard. Holy shit, folks. This is not. Just take my check down, Pacheco. Get across the line. Get out of here. Let's go. Down to the two minute warning. If we can get a touchdown, we're going to the Super Bowl. All right, folks. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. I cannot believe he got hurt. Gonna put Marquise Brown on a post, actually. We're just gonna keep taking my check downs. I only need a field goal, and Travis Kelsey is moving. Holy shit, he's still fat. Drew Locke, 340 and two touchdowns. You want to talk about the biggest game of your career when we need you the most? Holy shit. Okay, I like this. 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 Drew Locke! Touchdown! Oh my god! Big cock lock! Holy shit! Please, defense. Please, defense. Oh my god. We're a first down away. Pacheco, please. Punch this in, Pacheco. Punch this in! Let's go! Second and two! Here we go. Carson Steele, I need a big block out of you, big fella. Oh my god. No, I ran it, ran it, it doesn't matter! Pacheco, get out of there! Get out of there, we're gonna go to the Super Bowl! With Drew Locke! Oh my god, we're gonna go to the Super Bowl with Drew Locke as our quarterback. Holy shit! Oh my god. Fuck it, we're gonna get Pacheco a couple more yards. We're gonna get Pacheco a couple more yards. If he scores a touchdown, he scores a touchdown. So be it. So be it! Yeah, no, fuck it. Fuck the Bengals, bro. There's no way you lose to this team. Are you kidding me? We're starting Drew Locke. Apparently Drew Locke is goaded. Oh, dude, no, that's my fault. Oh my god, dude, no. We're gonna run this ball one more time, but I'm gonna do it at the last possible second. If we score a touchdown, we score a touchdown. If we don't, we're going to the Super Bowl. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe we, we just did this. Drew Locke, I didn't even really do anything. I scored the one drive. Our defense played great. I'm so proud of this team. Holy shit, big cock Locke leading the Chiefs to a Super Bowl. Sorry, Pacheco. I tried. I fucked up your run. You should have had another touchdown, but I'm an idiot. And the Chiefs are going back to the Super Bowl. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I actually can't believe it. Let's take a look at these stats. Drew Locke, 368 with three touchdowns. You want to talk about the, again, the biggest game of your career at the moment we needed it most. Holy shit. 69 yards for Pacheco on the ground, 70 for Drew Locke. Carson Steele had a touchdown. We like to see that. Receiving wise, Marquise Brown with 131 yards and a touchdown. Racy Rice, 108 and two touchdowns. Love to see that. Our offensive line was killing people. Holy shit. What is that, 12? That's 12 pancakes? Oh my God. Defensively, 12 tackles for Nick Bolton. Three sacks for Chris Jones. Didn't have a turnover, but damn, we played good defense. Gonna have some upgrades to Geno Stone, Kingsley Sumatea. We're gonna do those now. Geno Stone has been nothing short of spectacular. I'm so glad we traded for him. And then Kingsley Sumatea, he's developed into a stud. We're gonna continue to use his power stuff. Almost an 80, he's an 86 overall with the morale, but he's an 84 overall. Yeah, he's a monster. And then we're gonna do Jaden Hicks just to upgrade his stuff. He's a 76 overall already. He's a, he's a fucking stud. And with that injury, we actually signed Tommy DeVito to the roster. <laughs> Holy shit. So it's Drew Locke and Tommy DeVito. We're gonna send to the Super Bowl. I don't know if Mahomes will be back by then, but if not, we're gonna... We're gonna go for it with Drew Locke. Holy shit. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. Who we're gonna be taking on? The Packers. So the two-seeded Packers demolished Dallas, and then they, wow. You wanna talk about a defensive game. They just sneak by San Francisco, and they upset the Rams. So it's gonna be Jordan Love versus either Patrick Mahomes or Drew Locke. Mahomes has an upgrade. I don't really know what I can even upgrade at this point. Just strong arm, fuck it. Yeah, he's out though. So we're gonna have to play the Super Bowl with Drew Locke. I cannot believe I just said those words. Rishi Rice also gets an upgrade. Gonna do playmaker, playmaker for him. He is a 90 overall or an 89. I don't even know what, he's all these damn boosts. Headed to the Super Bowl against the Green Bay Packers. Three Superstar X Factors. Change the uniforms up again. Gonna go with the alternates. Gonna go with the red uppers, white bottoms. Here we go, boys. This is for a Super Bowl. I cannot believe we're here. If we can do this, we can complete every one of our goals in the video, which I didn't expect to be able to do this fast. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. Drew Locke versus, oh my God, here we go, boys. Our offense, please. 
Oh my God, our offense is doing great. Our defense has to step up. We have to lean. We have to lean on our defense if we want to win this game because I don't know if we're gonna be able to score that many points. And yeah, come on, offense. There we go. Just keep it close. If we keep it close, I can hop it. Oh my God, we're winning. I'm not. I'm not hopping in on defense. I'm not hopping on defense. I'll hop in on offense. Here we go. In the Super Bowl, down three. We have the ball. We got to get some points here. Third and five. We got to get a first down. Got it. Kelsey, hold on. Kelsey. No, don't punt the ball. No, hold no field goal. That's fine. Down six, we have the ball. We have one timeout left. Can Big Cock Lock win the Super Bowl for the Chiefs? Let's find out. Oh, they're in man. That's fine. We'll take that. We'll take that. Drew Lock has done one pick, but other than that, man, he has played fantastic football. How, how do they cover? How do they cover Kelsey? Up the seam. You gotta hold on. Nice job. Oh my God, Rishi Rice. We need a touchdown. No field goals. Right away. Right away to Xavier Worthy. Ah, oh, I just cut it. Damn, I should have just ran forward. We're moving the ball really well, and we're moving it quickly. Still have a timeout, just over a minute to go. Come back. Kelsey, get there for Taylor Swift. I almost don't want to score too fast, which is kind of a terrifying thing to say. Drew Lock. Oh, I'm going out of bounds. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Dude, I'm just so nervous. I don't want to score too fast because I don't want to give them the ball. We have a literal left tackle at tight end. Go at tight end. Tight end three. Yeah, listen. I have a timeout. I'm going to milk this clock down. I'm going to score with next to no time. I can't give them the ball back. I, I don't trust our defense. It's such a scary thing to do this right now, but I'm going to play really, really, really risky. I'm going for it. Drew Locke, man. You have been an absolute monster. Here we go. I'm taking off. Drew Lock! Drew Lock! Let's go! -hoo -hoo! 10 seconds to go, man. If we don't stop them, please. We did it! Drew Lock! Just let the Chiefs do a Super Bowl! Oh my god. We just won a Super Bowl with Drew Lock as our starting quarterback. Holy shit. I wonder if he's going to win Super Bowl MVP. Oh my god. This was definitely not what I expected. Holy shit. Randy Moss. Oh my god. What the hell did just what the what the hell is even that man? Oh my goodness. And the Chiefs we didn't three peat but we won three Super Bowls in four years four Super Bowls in seven years. That's such that's so crazy bro. Shout out to Taylor Swift. I cannot believe we just won that. We completed every one of our goals. And yeah, I, again, I know the Chiefs weren't the hardest team to do, but I wanted to kind of ease my way into it. I've done the Bears. I've done the Chiefs. Going to do a couple harder ones going forward. Just wanted to test out the Madden ones. Um, but yeah, we're. I'm really proud of this. I want to see who won Super Bowl MVP. I do want to see the stats too really quick. 28 for 37, 75 yards. Or excuse me, 28 for 37, 356 with two touchdowns. Drew Locke, my goodness. Pacheco, 34 yards and a touchdown. Drew Locke, 17 yards and a touchdown. Kelsey, 109 with a touchdown. And Marquise Brown, 128 with a touchdown. Defensively, 10 tackles for Nick Bolton. He also had an interception. And then a sack from Chris Jones. I mean, come on, man. Our team is loaded. We're going to sim. I want to see who wins Super Bowl MVP. That's super important. I think it is uh, Drew Locke, which again, cannot believe we won a Super Bowl with Drew Locke. That's fucking crazy. Let's take a look at the season recap. Drew Locke is your Super Bowl MVP. Oh my god, I definitely did not expect that. At the end of the day, we completed all the challenges, won the Super Bowl, so the video is over. Make sure to like, comment down below what team you want to see me rebuild next. Make sure to like and subscribe, and YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video. Find out if they're right.